Michelle with Michelle Loves Books. Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna give you seven ways to get free books. Most of my suggestions on here are for digital material. However, there's a couple ways on here you could potentially get print books. The first way is probably the very most obvious and that is the library. There's so many different ways to use your library that's best for you as well. Granted, you do have to return the books, but there are some good things about having a deadline to return your books. This is a personal struggle I have had over the years of using my library, but we can talk about that some other day. There are lots of different ways that you can use your library. One of them is an app called Overdrive. You've probably heard this before. You do have to have a library card. I love Overdrive. Another app that you can get is Hoopla. Again, you do need a library card to have Hoopla. They cap you on how many books you can check out for a month. I think there might be a way you can have a membership to Hoopla that you pay for privately. Another thing I read is that the library actually pays to use Hoopla and for every one of their patrons who checks out a book, uh, they do have to pay a fee for the month. So they do cap you based on whatever library you have. The reason I started looking into this is because I used up all of my I, 10. Um, I think that they have actually decreased the amount to five books. As long as I've had Hoopla, the limit was 10 per month. It's kind of annoying, but sometimes I can't find a book on Overdrive, so I will go to Hoopla. A lot of times they have the book that I'm looking for, or maybe Overdrive only has an ebook and I want the audiobook version, and a lot of times Hoopla can solve my problem. Um, but the thing I love about it most is graphic novels. It has a really great presence for reading graphic novels, and they have a huge selection, which Overdrive, I... Honestly, I haven't looked, but Hoopla is also great because you can check out other digital media such as movies and music. And the movies you can actually stream to your TV. So if you have like a Roku, you can download the Hoopla app on your Roku device, and then you can stream your movies that you've checked out through your library onto your TV, which is so cool. I've used it a few times. There are two other apps that go with your library, which I have not used. I've downloaded them, but I haven't really investigated them and that is Libby and RB Digital. The second way to get free books is giveaways. Now I do have to mention, get a little preachy and luxury here, if you do sign up for a giveaway and you win a giveaway, the reason authors and publishers do giveaways is to build up hype so they can sell more copies. In my experience of giveaways, the websites that I will be mentioning, it's not mandatory to give a review for a giveaway, but I personally feel like, hey, you're getting a free book that's the least you can do is just drop into Goodreads or Amazon or whatever platform you use. If you can't write a thing about it, just give a star rating. But I'm pretty sure you can come up with at least a couple sentences of how you felt about the book. You don't have to overthink it. I use Goodreads for a lot of different reasons. You're probably familiar with that website. You can build bookshelves, you can um, join book clubs and book groups, you can set up reading goals, you can update what books you've read, what books you want to read. It's got a lot going on. Goodreads giveaway section. They have a ton of books available. They're always adding new ones. They're always a really great selection. And I've actually won quite a few books from them. There's another site that's very much like Goodreads and it's called Library Thing. They also have a giveaway section, but their giveaways are run a, a bit different. They have a list of books available for giveaways at the beginning of the month. You have all month to decide whether or not you want to try to win that book. It's very easy. You just have to do one click. You already, when you set up your profile, you put in your address, um, all that good information, and then you just click if you want the book or not. And then you will find out at the end of the month when they do the drawings. They don't usually have a big selection. I'm sure there are a lot of really good books on there. Every now and again, I see books that are on both Goodreads and, and library thing available for giveaways. But a lot of times the books just don't sound that interesting to me. There are months when I won't request any. There's also giveaways hosted on Twitter and Instagram. You can follow your favorite authors and publishers on those other social media websites and they host a lot of giveaways that way as well. But a lot of times you have to go through sharing to all of your social media sites 
but if it's a book I really, really want, the hassle is worth it. Two other ways I have for you to find giveaways are bloggers and booktubers. Every now and again, they want to celebrate their first year on YouTube or they want to celebrate a certain amount of subscribers that they just received and they will host a giveaway. Or sometimes they have other types of giveaways, you know, for promotional things. The third way to get free books are mailing lists or emailing lists because who signs up for snail mail lists anywhere anyways. Sometimes these can be annoying, especially if you already receive a whole ton of emails and a lot of them just end up going to the junk mailbox. But I signed up for quite a few and then I've unsubscribed to many of them and kept ones that actually do have things of interest. Pretty much all of these are just ebooks that they will send you, but some people are really big into reading ebooks and this is a really great way for them to find hundreds of ebooks for free. Free because they're literally chucking them at you. They're sending you free books every single day to your inbox. Two mailing lists I've had the longest are from BookBub. Keep them because they have a lot of books that interest me a lot and they have like one book per genre. No matter what kind of genre you like to read, there's something in there for everybody. Another mailing list I am subscribed to is Book Riot. I think this one was actually supposed to go in the category for giveaways because Book Riot has tons of giveaways. Sometimes they host the giveaways and most of the time they're third party giveaways that they are just notifying you about. But not only for giveaways, Book Riot has a lot of really good articles to check out. Back to mailing lists. I recently signed up for this huge giveaway. I'm sure many of you, if you're on BookTube, if you're in the BookTube community, you have seen this one going around. And it's like, it was this huge um, Shadow Hunters giveaway and it was like a $200 value and you get books and you get cool merch. And I was like, oh, there's no way I'm gonna win this, but of course I have to try. And it was one of those giveaways where you have to share it on all of your other platforms to get more more entries into the giveaway to up your chances to win. But the catch was in order to enter this giveaway, you also had to sign up for X amount of other authors emailing lists. If you didn't want to be signed up to them, you can always unsubscribe to them. So I did that. Every email I got, they were all giving me a new book. And I was actually surprised. Most of them were fantasy books some of them sounded really good and you could tell like the author would just kind of like tell you a little bit about themselves and what their book is and like here's a series and just kind of telling you about their work and but I've kept most of them because their material sounds like something I'd actually really be interested in so that was a surprise all of them were like throwing books at me so there's another way to get free books <laughs> the fourth way is the little free libraries have you heard of them they're actually really cool and it's more of like a trade. So if there's a book that you're done with and you don't want to keep anymore, go find a little free library and you can trade for something else. Take a, It's like take a penny, leave a penny, take a book, leave a book so that their little free library can always stay stocked. Anything I've mentioned here, I will leave linked below, but there is a website for the little free library where they have a map of the area and all the registered little free libraries. So you can find out if there's ones located near you. Or you can start your own little free library. There's actually one right outside my kid's school. My son Aaron actually carries two of his Magic Treehouse books because we have a ton of them. They're, they haven't read them in a year and they're getting too old for those books. He keeps like two of them in his backpack in case there's something in the little free library that he would like to trade up for. The fifth way to get free books is iBooks, Google Play Books, and Kindle. Most of the books you get on there do cost money. A lot of them are like full price books, but you can find a lot of really good deals and you can actually type in the search for free and free books will pop up. Some of them you can keep unlimited. Some of them are only for a certain time period. I have all three of these apps on my phone. I just started using iBooks a lot more frequently. Again, all of these platforms are for eBooks and audiobooks. Actually, I'm not 100% sure about Google Play Books. They may have audiobooks. That one um, I don't use really at all. I, what is that? It's a potato. You, yummy. Is it mashed? Does it look mashed? Yeah. Go. 
Pick up your food on the floor. This is why you eat at the bar, not in the living room. I'm asking you something. Okay, go. It looks mashed. <laughs> the sixth way to get free books is Amazon Prime Reading. Now, granted, you have to have an Amazon Prime account to access Amazon Prime, but maybe this is something that you do have that you're just not utilizing everything you get with your Prime membership. That's why this one is going on the list because there are free books on there. Granted, the selection is not the greatest, but they've been some real good gems in there. I mean, I haven't, um, I just kind of browsed to see what they had and like read the summaries of a lot of books and a lot of them sound really good. It's just, I just haven't had the time to actually check it out. But if, if you really like eBooks, you want to check it out, do it. And when you, um, when you borrow them, they go to your Kindle app. And speaking of apps, the seventh and final way to get free books are reading apps. I have a ton of them on my phone. I actually considered doing a uh, what's on my phone video. So I probably will be doing that once I can figure out a good way to screen record my phone. I've not purchased any, they are free apps. I don't spend money on apps. I am only going based off of the free app. So this is 100% free books. I have tried all different types of reading apps. I will download them, check them out, see what's available, see how I like the app itself, how you search books, how you save books, all that kind of stuff. Decide if I keep the app or not. I was actually, as I was preparing for this video, I was going to give you a couple examples of the ones that I use and I must have deleted all the ones for books which makes sense. So for whatever reason, the ones where you just can get eBooks, I have since deleted. There's tons of apps out there and they, they all seem to have kind of the same books and they're all like your classic literature. It just wasn't, I ended up deleting all of my eBook apps because they just weren't useful to me. But I do have two apps for audiobooks. I was actually shocked to find an app that had audiobooks. And again, it's a lot of the same classic literature, but the fact that they are audiobooks intrigued me. So I do, um, I did download those. Uh, I have a couple of apps that are for fan fiction readers. So there's like Wattpad and fan fiction, and there's manga reading apps if you really like mangas. And you can find some of the popular mangas like Bleach, One Piece, I've even found Death Note and Tokyo Ghoul on there. Sometimes the titles are a little messed up. Sometimes they're incomplete, but hey, they really, whoever out there really doesn't like you to read manga for free. So I think a lot of the apps that I've had in the past do get shut down or a lot of the content will get blocked. So that is something if you get a manga reading app to be prepared for that your favorite app may not last very long. That wraps up my ways to get free books. I do plan on doing another video of how to get discounted books or budget books. I don't know how I'm gonna title it yet on, we're gonna talk about how to get, how to build a library on a budget. So thank you for watching, bye.